Hello VR shoppers and welcome to the VR shops review of the GI Dome VR glasses. For detailed information like weight, lens size, FOV and buying links, please do visit the website link in the description box below. But for a quick hands-on review and unboxing, then just keep watching. Okay, let's get on with it. It's um, it's a it's a nice solid box. That's a certain nice uh, nice images of the headset and things like that. Not much in the way of information. It's not exactly shop friendly, but it's quite presentable. I quite like it. Let's get into it. There we go. Let's have a look. We have got the headset. Let's just tip it all out. We've got head strap which we'll keep out uh instruction manual i don't think there's a qr code qr code on there <laughs> i thought it was for a second there no it doesn't matter we'll make one um uh, okay let's if i can get <laughs> if i could get into it i don't know what that is what is that there we go i'll give you uh, a look at that. I don't quite know what that is yet. I, th I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll keep that out. Uh, yeah, headset, microfiber cloth, and that all in there. Headset, head straps, tiny headset. Here we go. So here's the headset. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, there we go. Right. Give you a quick look around it. And on the front, and on that side, mm, interesting. On the top, and then there, and there you go. Not too bad, actually. Um, I think it's a, li a little bit front heavy on weight distribution, but uh, I wouldn't say it's lightweight, but it, you know, it's not overly heavy. It's doesn't feel so, so bad at all to be honest not too bad let's have a quick look inside nice lenses not not the biggest lenses I've ever seen can today address no but not too bad let's do a quick glasses check while we're here glasses are a go with it there we go so we've got glasses in case the, uh, you need to wear them uh, Nice padding actually, particularly you can see there that the phone goes right into the nose groove and it's shaped into the nose groove, which is quite rare. Normally they just kind of go around there, but this is actually molded molded into it, which is quite nice. I quite like the look of that. Not too bad indeed. Uh, yeah, it's um, I think it's like quite a nice soft foam not too bad nothing amazing might be a bit of an issue if you're you know sharing it around if people get a bit hot and sweaty but on your own you should be all right there let's put it there that's not a bad curvature actually that's not bad at all i think that's that's gonna cover the sides difficult to tell looking at it because you know it's pretty close so yeah, that looks all right. What have we got in terms of features? We got oh, focus distance and no uh, pupil distance adjustment. But we do have some buttons on the side here that we can test out. Yeah. Overall, not too bad, actually. Nice quality. Pretty impressed, you know, it costs just over 20 quid. I'd be happy with that for just over 20 quid. Not too bad at all. Anyway, oh, let's do a quick how do you use test. A lot of people like them, so let's get it done. Uh, uh, what should we use? Let's use, yeah, let's use a little, uh, little dummy Sony. So, you get your 
mobile device, download a VR app. Make sure that it's a split screen so you've got a screen either side and a line down the middle. And then turn it around. Come out. There's not much of a of a lip in there actually. Does that come out? No. So you've only got like the, the portion of the lip there. So anyway, you get your app, line it up with the center. <laughs> Where is the center? There is, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, there is a tiny, tiny line just there for you to, to line it up. Take it out. Yeah, this actually moves side to side. It's like, yeah, it's like a clip either side. So line it up. Line your middle of the app up with the middle bar. Put it in. Clip it over. Oh, that's a weird um, grip method, but kind of works. This is a, a, a bit of a thick phone, and it's not quite fitting into the gap, as you can see. So, gonna have to be um, a bit touchy with. I, mean, I suppose I could squeeze it in there a bit, but that's not the point. So yeah, I have to be a bit touchy with what we got. I'll test out the wires and that while we're uh, doing the heads on test. So I can see if uh, any of these buttons actually work. Well, we got A, B, back maybe. Oh well, like I say, we'll take it away. We're gonna put it on Maiden Sheena's head and stick it on her own head and find out if it's worth you buying it and sticking it on your own head. Here we are with it modelled on Maiden Sheena's head. Um, I will quickly say that the head straps are pretty easy to uh, attach because these uh, arms do come out and as well as this one in the front. So when they lean outwards, it makes it very easy to put the head strap on. I thought I'd point that out because it was a nice feature. Um, as you can see, the curvature is really, really good. Uh, it was... I think it was um, hit and miss, and I think it will be hit and miss on a lot of people's faces. Because on Maiden Sheen, if that looks pretty good, I mean, I could just about get my little finger just in the gaps there. But, you know, I, I think somebody with a, a slightly more curved face will have problems with the light coming in. But I think averagely it should be, should be all right. I mean, it does come round quite far. And it is nicely padded there so i think as long as you wear it a little bit extra tighter i think you could uh you know block off uh, a lot of the light because again if i tip it onto a side the side straps will also uh pull it inwards which is which is a nice touch uh hold it still and underneath uh, as you can see her nose is squished up in there but there's um there's room to play in there because uh, that's just the foam so um, I'm gonna say that like, average sort of nose size is not an amazing amount but it should be all right for her in there and there's lots of uh, air breathing bits in the top so it should be all right there we go it's time to uh, turn on a camera idle and show you what it looks like to actually use it Here we are with the inside view from Maiden Sheena's eyeball, and this is Darkness Roller Coaster VR. It's a it's a nice view, really is. FOV round about eighty, uh, maybe a little bit less than that, but I'm, you know about eighty. And to be honest, quite a nice clear view. I, I don't want to go. I want to go on that one. Oh no, we've got to go on this one. Anyway, yeah, that's not a bad view at all. Wee! Oh God, where are we going? If you like, uh, if you like your roller coasters, do download Darkness Roller Coaster because uh, it's a pretty good app and there's a good few jump scares. Woo! There we go. There's the inside view. Okay, uh, here we are. Welcome back. Uh, we've done our test and stuck it on our own head and stuck it on Maiden Sheena's head and shown you all that. Um, I will just show because uh, we've got the buttons so gonna have to have a uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, choose a nap here uh, I think the best one to show you is uh, <laughs> provided it doesn't jib out 
uh, yeah, it'll be on this one. So what you're seeing is the uh, is the VR Lanterns app. Use it because I know that the touch button works very responsively on it, and that's the app that I'm going to use. So let's connect that up, and that's now connected. Uh, <laughs> if I hold it, you can now uh, press the A button. <laughs> Here you go. It does actually work. You can press the A button to cycle between, which is a nice touch. Now, the problem is we could only get this to work on Android, which is a bit of a shame. But we tried it on Samsung 6, Samsung 7, uh, and it worked, you know, every single time we're pushing it. The rest of the buttons sadly don't seem to do much, but at least you've got the sort of screen touch contact button. But like I say, we couldn't get it to work on a couple of Apple phones that we got, but it's all right on Android. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Um, it's uh, it's one of them headsets, you know, it's, it's surprisingly well made and, and I'm, I'm going to give it that. It's it looks great. It feels strong. The face padding is quite nice. It's nice and black inside. Absolutely no qualms at all. But sadly, <laughs> like many of the headsets we review these days, there's a lot lot better out there for roughly the same price, which is, you know, not not a great option when um you're reviewing headsets like this which are quite nice you know i I'd, I'd be quite happy with this headset i really would the lack of features is a bit annoying but you know get it as a gift or something like that you're going to be nodding your head it, it's nice the fov uh roundabouts 80 nice and clear lenses not overly big so it's <laughs> it's literally average on pretty much every every aspect of it but you know, like I say, for, for just over 20 quid, I don't think you can knock it. I really don't. I really like it. Well, there you go. I think for me, that'll just about do it. Do please remember to sign up to our weekly newsletter where we're going to give away this headset and many, many others. And we really do give away a headset each and every week. And the link to do that is in the details box below. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more of these uh, headset unboxing videos, please do subscribe.